Overall, today what Roman Grosjean did was not worse than what he did back in Belgium because back in Belgium he collided with more cars then and he caused more of a big stir and a big accident than he did really at Japan. So, even though today it's been a really highly discussed topic and also as well in his 2012 Korea. I do think his incident was a bit silly what he did but it could have been an accident or it could have been deliberately we do not really know but it wasn't as bad as it was back in Belgium and really I don't think it was that bad to be honest I think the best overtake of the day one that particularly really impressed me had to be Mark Webber's around that really long corner before the end because that is such a hard corner to get it on and he managed just to take that corner very well and managed to overtake one of the drivers I forgot whose name it was but that overtake was just fantastic and it was my favourite one of the day and also as well Lewis Hamilton he did very well overtaking and getting up into fifth and he had a clean overtake of Kimi Räikkönen as well so well done to Lewis as well to be honest with you I've got three great drivers that would impress me today but obviously the first one had to be Sebastian Vettel he started the race well, he pitted well, and he ended up first. So that was just a fantastic race for him today, and he was very fast. He managed to get fastest lap as well. So great effort, and also he had a 20 second lead, which is absolutely fantastic. Also, as well, Michael Schumacher, despite being in 21st after 10 grid drop penalty after his incident last week with Sean Fan. he managed to get right up into 11th which I think is really good effort for Michael and I would like to applaud him for that and also as well Lewis Hamilton actually very impressed me from starting ninth and managed to get up to 5th so well done for that but it was just a shame that he can overtake Jensen Button to claim fourth so he could have got more points but well done just for Lewis for getting fifth and well done for Michael for getting 11th from 25 and also Sebastian for winning today's Japanese Grand Prix well between these two people here Massa and Kobayashi about if they've saved their F1 race seats for next year do I think it's too little or too late? Well, basically, I think Kamui will still have a place at Sauber and he'll still have a place in Formula 1 because he has deemed to be a good driver and he is a good driver but I just don't think he's had the best of car this season because Sergio's got that car and now that he's going McLaren as well I don't know if he will stay at Sauber or if he'll leave we really do not know. Felipe Massa, even though I do like him a bit, I just don't think he, I think he should retire very soon as he's been in the Formula 1 for many years now and it's about time that he retires and some new fresh faces come to Formula 1 and get that opportunity of a chance to drive for a very high qualified team.